Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Natural Resources. Question number 1. Which one of the following is an example of non renewable resources? Option A. Wind. Option B. Water. Option C. Vegetation. Option D. Coal and minerals. The correct answer is Option D. Coal and minerals. They include the fossil fuels we burn for energy, natural gas, coal, and oil. Minerals, used for making metals, are also non renewable natural resources. Fossil fuels such as oil, coal, and gas will not last forever. Question number 2. Which of the following is a renewable resource? Option A. Soil. Option B. Water. Option C. Flora and fauna. Option D. All the above. The correct answer is. Option D. All the above. Many renewable resources can be depleted by human use, but may also be replenished. Natural resources such as land, water, soil, plants and animals must be carefully managed, with a particular focus on how management affects the quality of life for both present and future generations. Question number 3. Underscore of stratosphere provides protection to our life. Option A. Nitrogen. Option B. Hydrogen. Option C. Ozone. Option D. Argon. The correct answer is Option C. Ozone. The stratosphere is where you'll find the very important ozone layer. The ozone layer helps protect us from ultraviolet radiation, UV, from the sun. In fact, the ozone layer absorbs most of the UV radiation the sun sends to us. Life as we know it wouldn't be possible without this layer of protection. Question number 4. The life-supporting gases such as O2, CO2 and N2 are chiefly concentrated in the underscore. Option A. Troposphere. Option B. Exosphere. Option C. Homosphere. Option D. Stratosphere. The correct answer is Option A. Troposphere, O2, CO2 and N2 being the life-supporting gases are chiefly concentrated in troposphere. It is the lowest layer of the Earth's atmosphere. It is bonded on the top by a layer of air called the troposphere. It contains 99% of the water vapor in the atmosphere. Question number 5. Which of the following soil is the best for plant growth? Option A. Sandy soil. Option B. Clay. Option C. Gravel. Option D. Loamy soil. The correct answer is Option D. Loamy soil. Loamy soil is mixture of sand, silt, clay, and humus. It contains perfect amount of each type of soil and humus which is necessary to provide nutrients for growth. Presence of sandy soil makes it capable to hold air. Clay soil makes it capable of holding water. Question number 6. Both power and manure are provided by underscore. Option A. Thermal plants. Option B. Nuclear plants. Option C. Biogas plants. Option D. Hydroelectric plants. The correct answer is. Option C. Biogas plants. As the biogas plant is based on the gas produced by a huge amount of cow dung and feces of other firm animals, after utilization of the produced gas power is produced, and the remaining feces material is used as manure. Fertilizers in agricultural grounds. Thus, the correct option is option C. Biogas plants. All the other plants mentioned here actually provide power but not manure. 
Question number 7. In the atmosphere, the layer above the troposphere is underscore. Option A. Stratosphere. Option B. Exosphere. Option C. Mesosphere. Option D. Thermosphere. The correct answer is Option A. Stratosphere. The next layer above the troposphere is called the stratosphere. The stratosphere extends from the top of the troposphere to about 50 kilometers, 31 miles, above the ground. Question number 8. Underscore is the major raw material for biogas. Option A. Plant leaves. Option B. Cow dung. Option C. Mud. Option D. Grass. The correct answer is Option B. Cow dung. Cow dung is the major raw material for biogas. It is rich in methanogens that could convert organic material into methane. These are our key bacteria found in ruminant of cattle. Question number 9. Atomic energy is obtained by using Oz of underscore. Option A. Copper. Option B. Uranium. Option C. Neither. A. Nor. B. Option D. Both. A. And. B. The correct answer is. Option B. Uranium. Nuclear vitality is acquired by utilizing metals of uranium. Atomic power is the utilization of atomic responses that discharge atomic vitality to create warm, which most every now and again is then utilized in steam turbines to deliver power in an atomic power plant. Atomic power can be acquired from atomic splitting, atomic rot and atomic combination. Question number 10. Floods can be prevented by underscore. Option A. Afforestation. Option B. Cutting the forests. Option C. Tilling the land. Option D. Removing the topsoil. The correct answer is. Option A. Afforestation. During heavy rains, trees reduce the risk of flooding. There are two major ways in which trees provide protection against flooding. Experts say that woodland acts as a barrier to flood water, while trees also prevent soil erosion, reducing sediment going into rivers and increasing water absorption into the ground. Question number 11. Deforestation generally decreases. Option A. Global warming. Option B. Draft. Option C. Rainfall. Option D. Soil erosion. The correct answer is. Option C. Rainfall. When forests are replaced by pasture or crops, it can reduce the amount of evapotranspiration, ET, dash the recycling of moisture back into the atmosphere by leaves. So the air that has traveled over deforested areas is less humid which one might expect would lead to lower rainfall. Question number 12. Forest Act was first enacted in Option A. 1891 Option B. 1927 Option C. 1952 Option D. 1972 The correct answer is Option B. 1927, the Indian Forest Act, 1927 was largely based on previous Indian Forest Acts implemented under the British. Question number 13. Wildlife Protection Act was enacted in. Option A. 1952. Option B. 1963. Option C. 1972. Option D. 1988. The correct answer is Option C. 1972 The Wildlife Protection Act, 
1972 is an act of the Parliament of India enacted for protection of plants and animal species. Before 1972, India only had five designated national parks. Question number 14. Mine spoil is. Option A. Wastes from mines. Option B. Wastes from mine processing. Option C. Land degraded by mining. Option D. Both 1 and 2. The correct answer is. Option C. Land degraded by mining. A spoil tip, also called a spoil bank. Bony pile, gob pile, bing, batch, bony dump or pit heap, is a pile built of accumulated spoil, the overburden or other waste rock removed during coal and ore mining. Question number 15. Which among the following is a sedimentary type of cycle? Option A. Sulfur cycle. Option B. Nitrogen cycle. Option C. Oxygen cycle. Option D. Carbon cycle. The correct answer is Option A. Sulfur cycle. Sedimentary cycles include those of iron, calcium, phosphorus, sulfur, and other more earthbound elements. Sedimentary cycles vary from one element to another, but each cycle consists fundamentally of a solution, or water related, phase and a rock, or sediment, phase. Question number 16. Carbon dioxide constitutes about 0.03% of the atmosphere. Option A. By volume. Option B. By weight. Option C. By mass. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. By volume. Carbon dioxide constitutes about 0.03% of the atmosphere by volume. Earth's atmosphere is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.9% argon, and 0.03% carbon dioxide with very small percentages of other elements. Question number 17. Forests prevent soil erosion by binding soil particles in there. Option A. Leaves. Option B. Roots. Option C. Buds. Option D. Stems. The correct answer is. Option B. Roots, herbs, shrubs and trees in the forests hold the topmost layer firmly by their roots. This does not allow natural forces like wind and water to carry away the topmost fertile layer of the soil easily. Hence, forests prevent soil erosion. Question number 18. Kaveri water dispute is in between. Option A. India and Pakistan. Option B. Punjab and Haryana. Option C. Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. Option D. Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. The correct answer is. Option D. Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. The sharing of waters of the Kaveri River has been the source of a serious conflict between the two states of Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. The genesis of this conflict rests in two agreements in 1892 and 1924 between the Madras Presidency and Kingdom of Mysore. Question number 19. A renewable exhaustible natural resources. Option A. Forest. Option B. Coal. Option C. Petroleum. Option D. Minerals. The correct answer is. Option A. Forest. Forest is renewable, exhaustible natural resource. Renewable resources are living, able to reproduce or replace themselves and to increase. The renewable resources get replenished, recycled or reproduced and can fast forever provided they are not used beyond their renewability. The exhaustible resource is the natural resources with finite stock or supply. They are vulnerable to both qualitative and quantitative degradation. Question number 20. 
Ozone depletion will cause Option A Forest fire Option B Pneumonia Option C Increased incidence of skin cancer Option D None of these The correct answer is Option C Increased incidence of skin cancer As ozone depletes in the stratosphere it forms a hole in the layer. This hole enables harmful ultraviolet rays to enter the Earth's atmosphere. Ultraviolet rays of the sun are associated with a number of health-related and environmental issues. Exposure to UV rays from sun can lead to increased risk for developing of several types of skin cancers. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.